goodbye, huh? Good... Goodbye, Julia. Oh, I'd not... It not matter so much now what... What happens to me. Just so you see her and... Tell her what I say. Goodbye, Julia. Nathan. Take me out of here. All right. This way. Hmm. And to think that of everybody in the place she chooses you to tell. Yeah, well, I wish to God she hadn't. And you were lying, weren't you? You'll never go see that kid. Connors, you were lying. Sure I was. Sure I was lying. Why shouldn't I? Why should you pick me to tell a sob story to? I've got my own business to attend to. Business that nobody's going to interfere with. And what's Mala's kid to me? So she can sing. Oh, that's great. I suppose I should look her up and maybe have her sing for me. Maybe that song I've already heard a thousand times before. Julia Connors, ex-convict turning good Samaritan, rescuing 15-year-old singers in distress. <laughs> oh, that's rich. It's wonderful. It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Once again, the lights are dimmed and the silver curtain is rising on Act Two of Broken Prelude, starring Betty Davis as Julia Connors. Four o'clock has come and gone. Through the door which marks the boundary between freedom and imprisonment has walked the figure of Julia Connors alone. Early the same evening finds her in that crossroads of humanity that is New York's Grand Central Station. Excuse me, miss, is something wrong? I mean, you, you look as if... The... All those people, they're all of them, all free. All of them, aren't they? Just going anywhere they want to. That's funny. Funny? Oh, well, don't, don't mind me. I just want a taxi. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm right out here. Thanks. Taxi here. Get a yellow cab. Taxi lady? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Where to? 507 East 54th Street. And hurry. The young lady's wrong, driver. Paul. You want to go to 576 West 49th Street. Huh? Okay. You see, Julia, Marsha Wallace doesn't live at that address anymore. You're only wasting your time looking for her. So? You've been following me ever since I left up there, haven't you? Suppose we put it that I happened to come down on the same train. I told her I wanted to be left alone. Julia, there's one thing you overlook. You are under parole to me. And it depends on me whether or not you go back to serve those other two years. Oh, I see. And you'd send me back, wouldn't you? You'd love to send me back. It's the one thing I don't want to do. And you're not going to force me to. That's why you're coming with me now. Well, how do you like it? I'm more used to apartments that have bars in the windows. Here, let me take your coat. Oh, that won't be necessary. See, I'm not staying. But you are. Uh -huh. I get it now. Excuse me. I evidently didn't understand what being paroled in someone's custody was supposed to mean. This is your apartment, Julia. I happen to be paying for it, yes, but only until we've found you a job so that you can support yourself. Accepting nothing from you, Paul Thomas. Why should I? I'll tell you why. It's a simple story, Julia. A lawyer who happens to be a deputy district attorney. A case is turned over to him to prosecute. A blackmail case involving a girl of whom he is very fond. There's just one thing he can do. He weighs all the evidence. Gives that girl his best advice. Promises her his help. Oh, you're wasting time. I know but all... But his advice proves wrong. His help is anything but that. And the girl he wanted to protect suffers more because of him. That's why, Julia... Because that man realizes there's nothing he could do for that girl to make up for his mistake. But he can try. Say that you'll stay here, Julia. No. You know, Julia, it's really not such a bad apartment. There's a swell view of the river from the kitchen window. I said I wasn't staying. And in case you feel like music, a combination radio and phonograph. I just guessed at the records. Listen, I'll play one. 
Oh, let's cut the little comedy, Paul. I told you before where I was going and what I was going to do to find Marsha. I told you, too, that... Turn that off. All right. No. The matron told me. No, I think I see another answer. The whole thing was framed, wasn't it? A little idea of yours, even having Marloff tell me that tale about... No, Julia. It wasn't framed. You see, Anna Marloff got out of prison today, too. Just before you did. Only in a different way. Oh, did she? What are you going to do? Well, that's my business. She died believing you'd keep your word to her. Oh, but why should I? What's Anna Marloff to me? I phoned down for a report on the stepfather. And Joe Renardo was anything but a new name at headquarters. That address on Cornelia Street is a so-called club that he operates as a front for gambling. A swell place for that 15-year-old daughter of Anna's. Oh, will you shut up? I'm getting out of here. Getting out, do you understand? I told you what I was going to do, and parole or not, you can't stop me. I'm going to find Marsha Wallace. Uh, who, ma'am? Marsha Wallace. Is she here? Miss Wallace? No, ma'am. She ain't lived here for more than two years. Last I know, Miss Wallace was at the Chelsea, ma'am. You go see Nina, Julia. Chelsea. I can ask Chelsea. nobody else. Hey, is that all you wanted, ma'am? Yes, the Chelsea, you say. I'll find the thing. She was only here a month, but you could probably find her through Chorus Equity. Oh, Chorus Equity, yes. Yes, I should have thought of that. The others must not know. No, me, you, Julia. You go out to death. Equity. You are different. You understand. Oh, no. No. What did you say? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's... It's just that I'm having trouble finding Marsha. Thanks, I'll... I'll try it with you. Marsha Wallace? Why, yes, yeah, she's dancing at the Green Slipper up on the Post Road. You've got to go, Julia. There is nothing you can do, maybe, but you've got to go see her. One, three, five, Cornelia. Stop. Oh, you've got to go, Julia. Stop it, stop it! Huh? So, so hard. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, a... I'm just a little upset, I hear. The green slipper on the post road, you say. Well, well, thank you. I've been looking for Marsha for a long time, and I, I'm glad I found her. I'm glad. Yes, miss, where to? What? Hey, are you all right? I'm, I mean... Oh, well, uh, I'm all right. Take me to... Uh... Yeah? Take me to... 135 Cornelia Street. Here, driver. Thanks. And say, miss, it's, uh, it's none of my business, but you're not going in that place alone, are you? You're right, it is none of your business. Well, I got the only try. The driver was right, Julia. Paul. And you're not going in there alone. So you were waiting for me. You were that sure. I wasn't sure, Julia. But this was our one hope. If you hadn't come here tonight, I'd have known that you... Oh, you are wonderful. You think you've had your way, don't you? Well, you haven't. I came here tonight, yes. Well, because I said I would. But nothing else has changed. After I've seen the girl, I'll, I'll go right on from where I left off. Oh, and in case you're interested, I found Marsha. Julia. I'm going in now and get this over. You can... Coming out makes no difference to me. It does to me, and perhaps to you, Julia. Have you thought how you'll get to see the girl? It probably won't be enough just to tell her stepfather that you came from Anna. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, I have. Come, we'll go in. I'd suggest you let me do the talking. Check your hat, sir. Oh, thanks. Uh, is Joe Renardo around? Yes, sir. Right over there. I'll get it. Paul, you said some kind of a club. This is just an ordinary bar. A front for the club inside, and the club in turn is a front for the gambling room upstairs. A little complicated, but Renardo's found it practical. He... Good evening. You wanted to see me? Oh, Renardo? Well, yes, uh, Tony Morelli suggested that we drop in and see you. Glad to have you. Oh, excuse me, uh, Miss Connor is Mr. Renardo. Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. And incidentally, Joe, uh, suppose I said I felt lucky tonight. Think the place could do something about it? You can go right up to the rooms now if you want. But if you take my tip, you'll come back to the club room first. The kid's just started her number, and she's worth hearing. The kid? My daughter. Didn't Tony tell you about her? I got her singing now. Does all right, too. What do you say, Julia? Like to hear the girl? Oh, 
Sure, why not? 